Hello friends, let's discuss one more trick today. And this is based on my code review. Okay. So I observe whenever, whenever developers are cloning their code and they try to test their APIs locally, which are already enabled with auto discovery. So they do one silly mistake. Okay. Let me show you that silly mistake. So whenever they try to run locally, they generally go ahead and disable this auto discovery. Okay. So they simply go here and then they, what they do is they disable this and they are disabling this to access API locally, uh, to avoid downloading those policies and applying those policies to avoid that they select this option. Okay. But this option, selecting this option can create a blunder. Okay. How? Let's say they forgot to uncomment this and they checked in the code and they deploy it to the dev environment, test environment, problem. Nobody will be noticing that the auto discovery is disabled on your API. Unless, unless they go here and they see the status of your API instance is inactive. Okay. So this inactive status can tell you two things. Okay. One thing, either your instance is wrongly configured or your auto discovery is disabled in your code. Okay. To avoid this, what we can do is instead of commenting this, we have option to go to runtime manager and pass the runtime property. So you can disable the gatekeeper. Okay. So if you go to here, I generally use this option on top of commenting auto discovery code. So this will help you to locally run your API and test without applying policies or debug without applying these policies. Okay. So this is the trick I wanted to discuss today, which is very useful, which can avoid giving public access to your API unknowingly. Okay. That's a trick. Okay. If you liked it, share with your friends. If you don't subscribe the channel, please go ahead and subscribe the channel. Thank you.